Hello children, welcome back to the English lesson. Uh, we last talked about verbs that add D and IED in their past simple and the present participle and the past participle tense. Uh, so I left you with the exercise. Uh, change the given verbs in brackets to their past participle tense. And we are looking whether we are supposed to add D or IED to the given words in the brackets. Uh, number one, Jane dash bitter soup. In the brackets, we had test. Therefore, here the answer was supposed to be tested by adding only D. Uh, she dashed her legs and fell down. We had the word raise in brackets. Therefore, our answer was supposed to be raised still by adding later D. Number three, our mother always dashed us with enough food. In brackets, we had prepare. We were provide. We were supposed to see whether to add D or IED. Therefore, here we are supposed to have D, which is provided. Next, we were all dashed to the next class. In brackets, we have promote. We needed to see, are we supposed to add D or IED according to the instructions that teacher taught us the previous lesson, but according to the word and the rule that governs it, it is supposed to get later D and it becomes promoted. And the, sense, the sentence becomes, we were all promoted to the next class. Uh, number five, she dashed a heavy basket last Sunday. In brackets, we have carry. So here, the rule that governs that when the, the verb is ending with letter Y, preceded by a consonant letter, we remove Y and add I, E, D. And then the word becomes carried. The sentence, she carried a heavy basket last Sunday. Uh, the next number was, we did not pass the exams because we dash on our notes. And in brackets, we had rely. According to the rule that governs this word in verbs, regular verbs, we were supposed to get the, our answer as relied. By neglecting Y and adding IED. Okay, now this brings us to our today's lesson. We are going to learn verbs that add ED in their past simple and past participle tense. Remember, at first we looked at words that add D, and later we looked at words that add IED in both their past simple and the past participle tense. So today, we are looking at the verbs that add only ED at the end of the verb. So these words are very many, but we are going to look at some examples according to their tenses. Our first verb will be play. When we are changing it to present participle tense, it becomes playing, whereby we don't change anything, but we simply add ing. And now in the past simple tense, this is where we are going to remove the ing and put the ed which we are talking about here, and the word will become played. Same applies to the past participle tense. It is going to become played. So now the verb is play, playing, played, played. The second example is going to be start. In this word, when we are changing it to the present participle tense, we simply add ing without neglecting any of the letters and it becomes starting. In the past simple tense, like we have done here by adding ed to the main verb, 
it is going to become started. And same applies to the past participle tense. It is also going to become started. So how do we know that we are adding ed to these verbs? These are verbs that end with only a consonant letter without having any rule that governs. So long as it is ending with a consonant letter and it doesn't have any rule that is governing it. That is why we add ed. The last example of the word that I can give you is cook. When we are changing it from its verb to the present participle, it is going to become cooking. In the past simple tense, like we have done here, we are going to write the word cook and add ed. And the word will be cooked. And same applies to the past participle tense. So those are some of the examples that I have managed to give you that add ed in their past simple tense and the past participle tense. In your free time, you're going to look for more verbs that end with consonant letters without any rule governing them like I explained in our first lesson. And then you will find out more words or more verbs that add ed in their past simple tense and the past participle tense. I hope we are going to understand. So in this word, you can see it is stop, stopping, stopped, stopped. Same applies to this like play, playing, played, played. But this is doubling the last letter. The second example of a word is going to become prefer. Prefer is also a verb. In its present participle tense, we are going to double still the last letter, and the word is going to become to preferring. When we are also changing it from the present participle tense to the past simple tense, we are going to remove the ing and we put ed when we have also doubled the last letter. And the word will become preferred. And that is also how we are going to do it in the past participle tense. The rule that governs this is that in these words, there is a stretching syllable. Or the syllable that stresses, that is not easy to read. For example, in the word stop, you can see we have syllable op. For example, a vowel and a consonant. Because when we are talking about a syllable, it has to be a combination of a vowel sound and a consonant sound. So we can see here it is op. So that is why we are forced to double the last letter to form a meaningful word. Same applies here, the syllable is er, prefer. Therefore, we have to make sure that to get a meaningful word from the last syllables we are seeing on the word, we have to double the last letter. Another example of the word that I'm going to give you or, or the verb is travel. Children, if you're very observant, you can see that all my words here that are doubling the last letter, they have an ending syllable. That is why we are doubling the last letter. If you can see here the words stop, prefer, travel, they are all ending with a vowel and consonant which forms a stressing syllable. So in this word, when we are adding, we're changing it from its 
from its verb to the present participle tense, we are going to double the last letter and it becomes traveling. When we change it to the past simple tense, it is going to become traveled. We shall still double the last letter, which is L. When we are also putting it in its past participle tense, it is also going to become traveled. So those are some of the examples of the regular verbs that add ed by doubling the last letter, how we form them. We have to know that when we are doubling the last letter, these verbs must be ending with a syllable at the end. And that is how we shall come to differentiate that in some words here, we add D, some words we add IED, some words we add ED, and other words we only add, add D. I hope you're going to understand this, this work that I've taught you, referring the first work that we studied. Thank you for learning. I hope to see you next time.